Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, Ransk has sent us his 20 lines puzzle, which looks very interesting. We've had the concept of 10 lines. We do like line concepts at the moment because we've got our line Sudoku app out. Uh, that has 10 lines in it, but it doesn't have any 20 lines. Um, and you can get that if you go to the CTC app link under the video. And if you download the free CTC app, you can then find the, the content that you can pay for within it, including Line Sudoku app, and it's really good. Um, there's a load of line puzzles and lots of people in our community are doing them at the moment, I'm delighted to say. Now, I'll go through the rules in a moment. I quickly want to mention Skunk Works Trick or Treat um, Sudoku pack, which is our patron reward for the month of October. Check that out on our Patreon site. Again, the link's in the description field. and. Down there, you can also find links to our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad. But the first link is to 20 lines by Ransk. Um, and the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we'll put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box, if we can. And along the lines, each line must be completely divided into one or more non-overlapping strings of adjacent digits, which add to 20. Note that repeats are still allowed within these sums, within the normal constraints of Sudoku. Okay, so if we had one, two, three, um, seven there, and the seven was in one of those cells, then this could be a seven, and that group of cells would add up to 20. I think that's what it means. So even within the sum of 20, you can have a repeat. And certainly, well, there are lines like this one that have got to have repeat digits on. Certainly along a line, there will often be a repeat digit. Now, digits separated by a black dot have a one to two ratio, but not all dots necessarily given. Um, those are the rules. Give it a try. It's an odd one. We haven't seen anything quite like that before on the channel, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. And I'm gonna restart my clock and say, Let's get cracking. I don't know how we're going to get cracking. Let's add up. Right, I'm going to share a secret with you that only my closest friends know. And that is that every row, column and box of a regular Sudoku adds up to the same number every time. That number is 45. So this box is the one I'm looking at. It adds up to 45. But this group of cells adds up to a number divisible by 20. 20, not 10. So what is that number? Is it 40 or is it 60? I don't think it is 60. Because if this... Let, I mean, let's just do it in set terms. If I made those yellow and these red... Uh, not those red, those red, then the reds add up to 45 and the yellows, I'm postulating that they add up to 60, which is 15 more. So the yellows add up, in my theory, to 15 more than the reds. But then if I deduct these absolutely equal cells from both, I'm left with yellow 15, sorry, yellow adding up to 15 more than red, and that's clearly not possible. So... The long line adds up to 40, and yellow is now 5 less than that red. So that red is a Sudoku digit that is 5 more than that one, but it's on a black dot, so it's going to have to be 6 or 8. That can be twice the number in this cell, which is 3 or 4, and 5, time, five, five more than the number in this cell, which is therefore 1 or 3. So... There we go. We've done something in the puzzle. Now, these short lines are going to have to add up to 20. That's quite a big number. So these are going to add up to 14 or 12. I don't think there's much. That doesn't fix this as far as I can see yet. Oh, what's going on in this row? Right, they add up to 20. I mean, in three cells, it obviously can't be a higher multiple. These add up to 25. Okay, so those are a 20 sum straight away. These must be another one, because you can't get four cells to add up to 40. So those add up to 20, and these three add up to 15. 
I mean, I think it's worth me coloring when I can divide a longer line. The three and four cell lines, they know it's never going to add up to 40, so they're all just one sum of 20. This line, I, do I, I don't know. We're gonna, it's, I'm going to do the same sort of comparison as here and here, but I'm comparing three cells there to one there. And I don't know if this is going to work, but... Oh, no, it probably works the other way around. Okay, if, if this line only added up to 40, like that line did, then these three cells um, would add up to five fewer than that cell. And that's not possible, because even if you put nine here, those would add up to four. So it is the other way around. This long line adds up to 60, and those three cells add up to 15 more than that cell, which is an annoying number, because they could be seven, eight, and nine, making 24, and you could still put in a big old nine here. Oh, hang on, hang on, look. Oh, look at this string of black dots. Right, there are six Sudoku digits that can go on a black dot. They do not include five, seven, and nine. So in this column, that is five, seven, and nine. Ah, so that cell is never a nine. Hang on a second. No, I can't do anything else with those. We'll, we'll come back to them, I imagine. Um, five, seven, and nine there. This... It's part of a 20 line, so it can't go below three. And now, uh, well, th these add up to 15 more than that cell. So I suppose that could be an eight, and these would be nine, eight, six. It does get more constraining. If that's a six, these these are less constrained. They only add up to 21. But these are beginning to get constrained because they now have to add up to 14, which makes them a 5, 9. And if this is a 4... I don't know. I don't know if this is actually helpful. I am going to leave those marked because I think that relationship of orange being blue plus 15 might help later. Ah. Yeah, it is, it is being finally borne in on me. I've mentioned it, but I haven't really understood how important these three cell lines are because they're very constrained. We noticed this one can't have a one or two on. And these can't have a one or two on. Oh, in fact, right, this, this row three may be the most important row in the puzzle. I haven't noticed it till now. I've now noticed it. Right, these cells, I'm going to color them yellow, they add up to 60. I know that because a four cell line must be a 20 and the three cell lines must be 20 each. Now, now we compare 45 in that row with 60 in yellow. Oh, and what we get is that these add up to 15 more than that digit, and that's huge. This digit must be one or two. These are either nine, seven, or nine, eight. They definitely include a nine. Well, I say that's huge. Remember, these had to add up to 15 to make purple add up to 20. And that is quite big now, because if that's a two, these add up to 13. They can't be five, eight. Oh, you can't put a nine in either of those cells now as well. This is very important. That's lovely. Oh, Ransk is clever. That's lovely. You can't put a nine there because of the black dot. And you can't put a nine here because there's a nine in one of those cells. So if, <coughs> if that's a two, these add up to 13. But they can't be nine, four or five, eight. They would be six, seven. If that's a one... These add up to 14, and they can't be 5, 9. So then there'll be 6, 8. So there's always a 6 in one of them. You can't put a 7 on the black dot. This is now 3 or 4 again, a bit similar to that. doesn't have to be the same. 
And is that all we've learned? Maybe that is all we've learned, but that's really interesting. Um, these are the complements of those. I almost want to say there's definitely a nine in one of those cells, but neither, neither do I know quite how to prove that, nor that it's definitely true. Ah, right, here's something else. They add up to 20. These add up to 15 more than that. So they can't add up to 23. If that was an... Oh, this is going to... This might break the puzzle. That would be terrifying. If that was an 8, these would add up to 23. Plus 20 there is 43. You'd only get 2 as a total there. That's miles away. This has to add up to at least 6 and be 1, 2, 3. So we're going to have to take 4 off the maximum 8 here. And now we're down... Okay, 4 or 3 there. And if that was a 4, these would add up to 19. 20 there, these would be 1, 2, 3. If that's a 3, the whole thing works, and these are 1, 2, 4. So these are 1, 2, 3, or 4, and include a 1 and a 2. That's a... Okay, I didn't realize adding box 6 mattered. That's really interesting. Now, 3 or 4 there, again, we've got a 9 involved with an 8 or a 7. These, like those two, add up to 16 or 17. That is not a 9 now. Now you can't put 9 on these cells. So can that be a 6? Ooh, actually you could never have put 9 on those cells if that was a 6. Oddly, because that would put a 3 there. And these, no, I've got my maths wrong, sorry. Ah, oh, no, look, hang on, this can't be a 6. Because those would have to add up to 14, and they can't be 6, 8 once you put a 6 there, and they can't be 9, 5 because of the 9 we've got here. So that's become an 8. That's weird. And that's a 4. That's our first digit in the grid after 10 minutes. Pleased with it. Um, these add up to 12, but they don't include a 9 or an 8. So they are 7, 5. 9 in the corner, no 7 here. And that becomes a definite 3. And these add up to 18, definitely. And that is 20. So these add up to 7. And they are a 1, 2, 4 set. Now, the black dots don't know. Ah, oh, but these add up to 20. OK, there's no 1 or 2 or 4 on these black dots. Ah, oh, so it's a 3, 6 black dot. Because you, if you can't use 1, 2, or 4, it must be. The other black dots are 1, 2, 4, 8 in the column. And they must go together as a 4, 8 pair and a 1, 2 pair. That's probably all I can do at the moment. Now, if that's a 3, that's definitely an 8, 9 pair. If that's a 3, these add up to 12, which would be a 5, 7 pair. And that leaves that being 8, 9 as well. Hang on, what? No, if that's a 3, sorry, these add up to 15. They would be 8, 7. So 9's always in that pair. And now this can't be a 6, I think, because then you'd need a 5 as the complement here. Hang on, hang on. Have I really figured that out, or am, am, I, am I going bonkers? If that was a 3, the orange add up to 18, those would have to add up to 15, and they can't use a 6. So it would be 3, 8, 7, and 9 would be there. But if that was a 3, this would have to be a 9, 8 pair. Yes, it's right. That's weird. Now this can't be a 6, so that's a 3, that's a 6. This is a 9, 8 pair. This is a 5-7 pair, and the maths on orange and blue has worked. Now, let's not, I did forget, let's not forget that we have to break the longer lines into segments of 20. I did forget that completely. Look at this one. 18 there, and that's got to be a 2 to complete the 20. 
and I can color that. Let's make it orange. Now, we can take five out. Yes, the rest of this box adds up to 40. Oh, and four, eight are a pair in it. Oh, that's interesting. That, that's a five, seven pair. This is a one, six pair. So at the beginning of this line, we've got 16. That can't be eight. That is a four. That completes one line down there and a little three cell line here that has an eight on it. <clears throat> and that, that maths works. Now, down in the bottom row, we've got a two and a three to place, one of them in the corner. Eight, nine, five, seven. One of these two is a two. Don't know what to do with that quite. This line adds up to 40, doesn't it? Oh, I must know what that is. It was five less than that, so that's a three. Hmm, I don't know that, um, okay, nine has to be in this group of cells. Now, right, this three is not part of a three cell 20 sum because that would have to be three, nine, eight. You can't put another eight in the box. So all of these four cells are in the same, uh, the same 20 sum. There might be more, but they already add up to 12. I suppose it could be 39125. In fact, this has become a 3. No, it hasn't, because there could be a 3 here as well. Could there? 9, 12, 15. Yeah, that could be 935. That would work. Hmm. These are all in the same sum. Do I know any more? Mm, five and seven. There's one of five and seven in there and one of them in there. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm scratching around at something that's probably not the way to do this at the moment. Sorry. Let me, let me, let me try and refocus a bit. Interesting though. Okay, that eight has fixed nine and eight. That can't be a four. Oh, oh, hang on. Eight, nine and eight, not nine and seven. Five, seven, don't know. Those are one, two, four, six, seven. They must add up to 20. They do. Five and three are in these cells because of that five, three pair. They have to be there. This is six, seven, eight, or nine, which is, no, it's not nine, because there's a nine in one of those two. Can I add these together and get anything interesting? Not really, not until I know, even if I know what that is, it's probably not that interesting. This pair is not eight, four. That's all I know about it. It could be three on top of six, or something on top of two. This is always two or six, apparently. This is three, one, or four. That's quite low. Right, we're gonna have to put some high digits here that can't be five, six, or seven. How many do we need? Do we need both nine and eight to be here? That's interesting. If we didn't have nine and eight here, the maximum these three could add up to would be nine, four, and two, and that's not enough. That's lovely. Right, I'm even using that three in this. Okay, it's because this digit is so low based on the black dot that we can have a look here. The th the, if we didn't put nine and eight on this line is what I'm um, hypothesizing, then the highest three digits we could put on it would be nine, four, and two. And that only adds up to 15 and doesn't get the line up to 20. So we must put nine and eight on this line. And that's huge. That makes this a seven. 
That makes this a 9. That tells us what this is, although I can't remember how. 16 there out of this 60 total, 44, that's a 1. These two add up to 14, so that's not a 7. Oh, I suppose that was obvious when I put a 7 there. This is a 6-8 pair now. Um, and I can't actually do that yet. But 9-8 on a 20 line, it's 9-8-2-1. That's become a 1. This is now a 9-8-2 triple. This is 1 and 4, and I can place them. This is a 2-7 pair. This is a 1-4-6 triple. How does this black dot work? Ah, I don't know, but not with 6 there or 9 there. I know that. This is a 2 on the black dot. That's a 3 in the bottom row. This is 2 in the corner. Now, can I do the sums on this line? Probably not yet, but... Oh, there's a 1 here by Sudoku. Oh, that's getting interesting now. In fact, this is a naked single. It sees 1, 2, 8, 9, 3, 4. It sees 5 and 6 somewhere there. So that's a 7. Now I can just add these up. We've got to 14 so far. We need another 6, which can't be done in three cells or two cells, so it must be done in one cell. And there, we've got another, another sum of 20. So the greys here, oh, well, I mean, by Sudoku, these are 953, which does add up, thank goodness. Um, just having a little panic there that it didn't. So there is a repeat digit in this sum of 20. That's maybe the first one we found. 359 there sorts out this as a seven. This pair is known. Oh, I'd written that there was a 5 there. I hope that was a misprint or something. There isn't. There's a 4-6 pair there. I don't know why I'd written that. I don't think it was right. That's not a 1. That's not a 2. This isn't a 7. Just looking up the grid, finally. Now, this pair adds up to 11. This pair adds up to 13. And they don't have a seven in, not because they're not allowed to repeat one on the line, but because of those sevens. So it's either five, eight, or nine, four, somewhere around. That's not actually that helpful. Um, <clears throat> that's not a nine. What's this? This is a three in the corner. Party time. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light proving its position. Right. Is that three going to... Oh, no. Maybe we can look at this now, which adds up to 11 and isn't 6-5 or 3-8. It could be 9-2 or it could be 7-4. Three and six are going to have to be on this. In fact, three in this row is fixed there. Six is going to have to be on this line. And then there's another pair adding up to 11 from 7, 9 or 2, 4. Is that right? Yeah, it is. This is going to have to be 8, 5 now. This can't be 4, 9 because that needs one of those digits. OK, that is right. I was wondering why that hadn't been obvious to me. Now, this is not an 8. So the 8 in this column is up here. That's an 8-4 pair. This is a 2-1 pair on the black dot. That's become a 4. That's a 3. That's a 5. 7, 3, 5, 1, 8, 5, 3. This is a 2. That's just Sudoku. And now we know that that's a four with a seven. This is a six and nine pair. I assumed I would know which way round they went, and I don't. That's become a nine. Um, that's four or six. So the three is there. Now, I haven't really done this line at all. I haven't thought about it. Those add up to... 39. The line can't add up to 40. It must add up to 60. These four add up to 21. So the three of them that I haven't got add up to 18. That's quite high. Let's just sketch in the candidates. 
18 from those three. No, I don't think it quite tells me what's going on. But 9 and 8 are a naked pair. Well, a hidden pair up in this box. Ah, oh, and there's my first sum of 20 along the line. 3, 8, 9. Oh, these add up to 12. Ah, I cannot use three cells to add up to eight. Ooh, let's just be careful. Is there a way of using four cells to add up to eight? Oh, this is really interesting. No, okay, these add up to 12. So the other bits of the beginning of this line that add up to 20 are either one cell, not possible because that can't be an eight, Two cells, very possible, and I think I'm trying to prove it. Three cells, not possible, because they would have to add up to eight. And the only way of doing that with three different digits is one, two, five, or one, three, four, both ruled out. Or four cells, where you would have one there, one there, and a two, three pair. I mean, that's not happening. So these two add up to eight, and this is a an 18 segment. So these can't have two and three in. They are a one seven pair. That's fascinating. Um, and blue is one of the constituents of 20. And this is the other one. This final, um, I'm going to make it light. No, red. This final red segment adds up to 20. Plus six there it means that these three cells add up to 19. And that can't be a 1, therefore. Now these two add up to 12, and that one's even on the right, so that one's even on the left. There we go. 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 8, 3, 7, 4. This is a 2, 5 pair. That's going to sort out all the digits below in columns 1, 2, 3. There we go. Um, I still haven't used this, I haven't even looked at this black dot. It's not 3, 6, and it doesn't have an 8 in. So it does have a 2 in somewhere, which is going to fix this cell down here. That's good. Um, unexpected way of doing it. 7, 9, 8, 3, 5, now. Still not finished. No, I don't know. Okay. Um, that is done by Sudoku. There we go. Bet this is. Yeah. So this is a 569 triple up here. And 96. Now, where's 1 in this row? It's on the red somewhere. Um. Am I really going to have to do the maths? This, we, uh, this doesn't have a name. This is either 1, 2 or 2, 4. I must have just forgotten something. Oh, yes, look, this black dot. I did forget something. Right, that's a 4. 6, 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought Sudoku must be doing this, and it is. 1, 2, that 2 fixes 5 and 2. I'm not going to have to add up anything at all, I don't think. 5, 6, 9, although, of course, I will add up red to check it at the end. Red is complete. Let's add it up. 2, 3, 1, 9, 5 is 20. Yes. And I can put 7 there and finish off with a 4. What an excellent idea. That's real. It's not just an excellent idea. This is classic ranks. He's come up with an excellent idea, and then he's given it an excellent execution on top. And that's a really interesting puzzle. I've enjoyed that a lot. And uh, 20 lines done today. We will see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku. Thank you, as always, for watching on the channel. And bye for now.